Rati Allah ati ya Rasulullah amri minkum and always a reminder for myself and abdukul aji sadaif wa miskeel wa zalim wa jahal and but for the grace of Allah that we're still in existence. Alhamdulillah that Allah gave us this honour to enter into the holy month of Ramadan and to see its blessed nights and to fast its days with her shortcomings and faults and Allah's infinite rahmah that He gave us all opportunities in which to perfect them. Zakat al-Fitr is a perfection for fasting, any errors within the fasting known and unknown to us within this contract in the Divine, the Fitr Zakat is a cleansing, a fix all and fadaya and all sorts of reliefs from Allah for those who could not fast and medically had a reason they can pay the fadayats under the section of zakat, they can pay their alms for what is required. So Allah gives every opportunity for people to achieve His grace and to achieve His blessings. So alhamdulillah that we are with a generous Lord and that Allah's infinite mercy and rahmah continuously dressing us and giving us a hint that, I've made this game in your favour, my mercy outdoes my wrath. And the alhamdulillah that Allah is granting us this immense, immense blessings. And then Allah grant for us Laylatul Qadr and then Allah granted for us to be in the tariqahs and later in life finding that, oh the tariqahs are the symbols of reality and the immense lovers of the Muhammadan reality and every ocean of every secret will be found in that Muhammadan reality and the ultimate secret is that Allah describes, I was a hidden treasure wanting to be found, wanting to be known and that Allah reveals His Divinely Self within this treasure called Muhammadun Rasulullah The pursuit and the love of Sayyidina Muhammad is the love of Allah that is the reward for the seeker. That when they come to what Allah loves, what they find within that love is the oceans of love and generosity from Divinely Presence, an ocean of power, ocean of might, an ocean of immense rahmah and mercy. So alhamdulillah that Allah grants for us this love. Means then for people on the path you expect nothing and be happy with everything. Whatever people have of expectations especially when we build ourselves up to these nights and Laylatul Qadr and all the internet talking about Laylatul Qadr and these are systems in which to build up make people to anticipate and expect something and when their expectation falls short they become discouraged. And the tariqah many times have talked, tawassul bi haqqa wa tawassul bi sabr. And Ayatul Kareem Allah this path of ours its way is in patience this way of truth, tawassul bi haqqi wa tawassul bi sabr. This path of truth and Divine Truth it's paved with bricks of patience that make the character of the servant a beautific light, a beautific reality. They're taught within the tariqahs that expect nothing and be happy with everything. The mental expectation is of no importance and that mental expectation in a way towards realities may be way off. 
Because what the mind is trying to understand, they're trying to understand from, from internet, from different channels, they teach that don't let your mind to expect anything. Cut all expectations and be happy with everything. Then tariqah comes towards these realities teaching, it's not what you pray for what you want but to want what you have. The people are very busy all of Ramadan and, and holy nights continuously praying for what they want. And that again is an expectation and they are expecting something from Allah which is okay for common people. But then Allah teaching, but what you have, you have to be thankful for. If you're too busy praying for what you want, focusing on what you want, maybe you didn't realize what Allah has already given. And we didn't show thankfulness for that. Within that there must be an immense blessings, there must be immense realities. It's always a reminder for myself on the holy month of Ramadan people have very high expectations of what they're going to achieve and most are unrealistic. And then we hear about holy nights and they're hoping that lightnings will come and zap them and transform them like an anime or cartoon. <laughs> but in this reality Allah already gave us Laylatul Qadr, Allah gave us all these immense blessings. If we don't put a value in it that's our fault. Means that what Allah has given to us is this love of Sayyidina Muhammad And out of billions of Muslims how many of them have that love, the immense love where they find and they know that their soul should be levitating or moving towards the heart and soul of Prophet These haqqaiqs that Allah gives, these are knowledges that set your soul into motion. Means those whom are not of that reality, they're hoping from that reality a light will come to them, an event will come to them, an opening will come to them because that's one time in the year. Those whom Allah granted an immense reality to enter into the circles of ashiqeen in which they emanate from that heart. All the light is continuously flowing from the Muhammadan heart into the associations. All of the knowledges are flowing into the hearts and souls from that association. So it means that every association is Laylatul Qadr. Layl is a state in which you train to be off. We talk remember the binary code, if you learn the system of off because energy is either on or off. If you learn to put your energy down then Allah give you qadr. So one and zero, lay is a state in which to be zero. Qadr is most definitely the one. Qaf, Qafd wal Qur'an in Majeed. This Quwa and Qadr, it's from this ocean of Qaf. This ocean of Qaf is emanating in the heart of Sayyidina Muhammad eternally. When Allah spoke, when Allah stopped speaking, 
beyond understanding. But when Allah speaks, it's through a soul called Muhammadun Rasulullah And that's all we know. Allah doesn't speak through anything else. Created the soul called Muhammadun Rasulullah And when Allah wants to speak, Qulun Amrun Wal Irada Surah Yaseen which is the tafsir of this Divinely Heart. And Allah describes that every command of mine and all my will is within this reality. When the soul came into existence beyond our understanding, imagine how ancient that must be. And that that soul came into existence for Allah's Divinely speech to emanate from. That's the source of qudra and quwa and all power. From that power everything is coming into existence. That becomes the qul to the ba, the qalb, that Allah's qaf ancient, ancient power. He created a tongue, a lisan to be known by and we will never know him. I was a hidden treasure wanting to be known that I will never be known. Only my signs will be known to creation. And Ayatul Akbar, the greatest sign of Allah is this Muhammadan haqqaiq wa haqiqat al-Muhammadiyyah. When that qul hits to that ba which is the alif in sujood, in complete effacement. When the alif completely goes down it becomes a ba and under that alif is a nukh in which to hold its reality. That qalb, its qudra is moving to that ba and becomes the unfolding of all realities. And from that Bismillahir Rahmanir Raheem, Surat Al Fatiha, from Surat Al Fatiha, all of Quran and Majeed. So then imagine when Allah gives you a life destined to sit in their association. You have now entered into the association of Qadr, of immense oceans of power and that they teach by this love and muhabbat and this ishq of this reality the souls are moving into that heart. And that's قُولِنِ كُنْتُمْ تُهِبُّونَ اللَّهِ فَتَبِئُونِ وَيُهِبُّكُمُ اللَّهِ Those whom embark with their souls on that journey into the Muhammadan heart, that same heart, that qal that contains that ba, that ba that being dressed by Allah's ancient qaf and power. Those souls whom Allah destined for them enter into this heart are not on heaven, are not on, on earth but I'm in the qalb of this believer. That you're entering into Allah's oceans of power. Anzalnahu, Anzalnahu. We reveal Qur'an, the who equals Qur'an and anzalna who, the who is the who of Sayyidina Muhammad Because the Qur'an is inside the heart of Sayyidina Muhammad Allah's uncreated speech emanating from the soul of Muhammadun Rasulullah 
So anzalnahu bi laylatul qadr. So means then laylatul qadr is the binary code. Layl in our lives is that we took a path in which to learn how to in this binary code be nothing, efface yourself, be nothing, be nothing in this way of reality that when all the world wants to make us to be something, we know by the might and majesty of Allah the might and majesty in which dressed upon Sayyidina Muhammad we are obviously nothing. So then this life of ours keeps pushing us to be nothing, efface yourself. When the servant truly understands effacement with their tafakkur, their contemplation, why making tafakkur? Because you're trying to connect with the shaykh and listen to guidance and nobody wants to listen to guidance. Everybody wants to make up their own understanding, stand up and begin to make the wrong understanding because their nafs and the sickness of their nafs and the way is based on, I'm nothing, I'm nothing, I'm nothing. When they truly enter into layl, Allah said, we made the day busy for your dunya and your, and your, your work but the night is a time in which to learn to be nothing. So layl is the symbol of effacement. So in this binary code, if you reach to layl, you reach to being the nuqt. Then the next word is qadr. If you really become layl, Allah's gift to you is qadr, is power, power oceans. Divine the breath that Allah breathes within the soul, these energies and emanations from the heart of Sayyidina Muhammad the dressing the souls of Ashabeen, you will be with whom you love and who you love will be with you. And that one whom you love is the power oceans of Allah If that love enter your heart from the ishq of Sayyidina Muhammad's Divinely light and presence, imagine with what power that love, that soul, that drop of that light is entering into the soul. So it means it's an infinite ocean of power being dressed upon the students of these associations, these majlises where they are sitting, where they're watching, wherever they are. And that every association is dressing the servant from that qadr and if they're writing it and the knowledges are being written is dressed upon their kitab and is for all of eternity. Your service khatmat. And everything that you do in that way is for all of eternity. It's reality that can't be understood because the dunya and how people visualize the dunya. If you were to make a graph, maybe our, our, our graphic people can show, we said this world is inversed in dunya. The graph shows the people of dunya how high they are, how much money they make, how much status in corporations and how they buy and sell in billions and trillions, ridiculous numbers. And then this shows though the way the people of akhirah as like nothing, they struggle for five dollar donations. You see the, the curve is like this and it goes like this for dunya. And Allah made that symbol. So that to see who's looking with their physical eye because from physical eye to, oh look this ones are up here and these people are down here. But unfortunately and fortunately for us dunya is actually the opposite. In akhirah that graph changes because it's a reflection. The people of akhirah they are the kings of all of paradise for eternity and the people of dunya or in pits that are so low they are not something to be mentioned. See how the graphic changed? Dunya they show them huge, billion, trillion, the numbers are so silly now. You watch television, he's buying this for 40 billion dollars, 20 trillion dollars. 
<laughs> it's like a joke and everybody else is, is trying to get their zakat. And Allah reminding that this is going to inverse one day but the people they don't have eyes to see and a heart to understand. They're more interested in investing in that one. But those whom they sit in the association of that one where the day when Allah flips and Akhirah opens what happens? They become like this. If you were in the association of heavenly people you're among the kings of paradise. That they're owners of reality that own all of eternity Allah addressing all of eternity. And if you bet it on being with the people of dunya and sold yourself for a small price the, the kingdom of paradise and the kings and sultanate of paradises for all of eternities, its status it can't even be registered. The graph is not even like this but the graph is something that the bottom ones are so low they're not even something to be seen and Allah describes throughout Holy Qur'an that their wish and their soul, what are those stations? Not with their trillions and billions can they buy anything from that. But that they were deceived by dunya and they didn't have the perception of that which was eternal. So then this graph flips, the people on the bottom and they, oh they're nobody, why we have to sit with them? No, unfortunately in heavens they are everything. And the owners of paradises and heavens, they own everything that Allah has given and subjected everything. وَمَلَكُوتُ كُلِّ شَيْءٍ وَمَلَكُوتُ كُلِّ شَيْءٍ Surat Al Yaseen Allah we have given all of malakut into their hands. Subhana ladhi bi yadihi mulk, what the one from Surat Al Yaseen? And the last surah, you guys don't know how you're, 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 you're reading Qur'an. Subhana ladhi bi yadihi malakutu kulli shayhim wa ilayhi turja'oon. Alhamdulillah, my backup support people. <laughs> Subhan, Allah's glory onto the hand that Allah gave all malakut, kulli shay, kulli shay means that everything is in their hands and they are the owners of my malakut. In the world of life they are my owners and they own it for all of eternity. But in this world you saw them as nothing. But because this dunya is inversed where Mawlana Shaykh would always say, I'm upside down in this world. Why? Because he's a king here and on earth you people see him from the earth as nothing. Though who are these people? There's nothing. I want to be with those people that every day are on the news. And this is the great gift Allah has given. All of this is in relation to Allah establishing, I have given you qadr, I have given you Laylatul Qadr, I gave you a path in which to be nothing and this qadr will dress you. Had you not known these associations you would have never reached to this qadr. Had you had not come across these teachings, these videos, this tariqah, this way then Allah would not have dressed you. So the greatest gift and the greatest blessing Allah has given when people are waiting for something to happen, praying for something to happen and when their prayers are not answered they actually become angered. Emails come, oh I gave fifty dollars and the heavens didn't open and nothing opened and what, what is this? Say, so you're so busy trying to get something from Allah but you don't even understand what He already gave. He gave a seat and a way to the highest levels of paradises for all of eternity. But you want to exchange it. For the filthiness of dunya means you look at it with the eyes of dunya and you don't see it as anything. And when they were looking for Sayyidina Muhammad they came to a cave and they didn't see anything. How you don't see anything? 
when you look into a small tiny cave, the cave is very small. Because Allah took from them their vision and that's the reality of this dunya. Our life is to meditate, contemplate, be thankful, alhamdulillah wa shukran lillah and contemplate this understanding Allah has given us infinite Laylatul Qadrs, infinite dressings and realities. We just have to be thankful of it to understand what is this that Allah has given to me, how to take it, cherish it, nourish it and bring its realities out so that when the kingdom of Allah opens for me whether I see it in Qiyamah or I see it on my death that I'm seated at that place that Allah has reserved for me, inshaAllah. We pray that Allah dress us with this infinite rahmah and mercy and this infinite love and ishq and to know the value of that ishq and that love and the gift that Allah has given to us. May Allah always expand it and never take it from us. Allah's oceans of generosity to always increase and never decrease these blessings from us. Subhana rabbika rabbal izzati amma yasifoon wa salaamu ala mursaleen wa alhamdulillahi rabbil alameen. Bi hurmati Muhammad al-Mustafa bi siri Surat al-Fatiha.